A man is arrested in a deadly crash that happened more than a decade ago. He was found thousands of miles away from central Florida after investigators say he fled the country after bonding out of jail. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman was there with the victim's family as the suspect went before a judge again this morning. After more than a decade on the run, Carrie Price is finally back in Central Florida and again here at the Orange County Jail. Well, today I spoke with the sister of the victim. She says that's something that's long overdue. Uh, it's a no mon capius for failing to appear. So. He's not going to get long. Even before he stepped to the podium this morning, the judge's mind was set on 47 year old Carrie Price staying behind bars. Music to the ears of Peggy Jandrew. No bond is the greatest two word sentence in the world. Jandrew is the sister of construction worker Grady Hill. He was killed in 2003 while working on State Road 417 near University Boulevard. Price at the time was charged for DUI manslaughter for the crash, but hours later he posted bond and disappeared. He was that always that missing piece. He was always because it could never come to conclusion because he wasn't here. To Price remained on the run for more than 12 years until Jandrew says she received a tip through Facebook. Immediately called our state's attorney and we called you know, FDLE and said, okay, this guy's messaging me. What do I do now? As surprising as that was, she was even more shocked to learn Price had been hiding out in the Dominican Republic. Now that he's back in Florida for the first time, Jandrew says nothing can ever bring back the loss of her brother, but she takes confidence in the hope that her family will see justice. Now he has to play by a new set of rules, and I'm glad those rules include no bond. The next hearing for Price has not yet been scheduled, but the victim's sister tells me after today she's going to make every effort now to attend any of his future court proceedings. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.